Hi there. Just like in my most recent videos, I'll be reviewing and using stuff that my mom got me for Christmas. That includes this Estee Lauder set. So I'm all ready for eyes, cheeks, lips, and mascara. She chose the colors quite well because most of my stuff are really just browns and nudes and very soft colors. This set, which is called Estee Lauder Pure Color Eye and Cheek Palette in Glam, has the kind of colors that I would naturally love to play with. And she so thoughtfully included a mascara, and a sexy bold lipstick. I'll also be using my new liquid eyeliner from e.l.f. in this video. And this Skin Can Tell Relief and Repair Lotion. It helps a lot with my shoulder and neck pains. So, let's start! Wait, let me get a sip of my coffee. That's much better now. I've been getting quite a lot of neck and shoulder pain this past few days because of my poor posture and bad sleeping position. And it gives me a headache as well. Let me show you how I use this little magical thing that I've recently discovered. Ingredients include camphor, dragon's blood, and witch hazel extracts, which all together helps relieve muscle aches, stress, and oh yeah, it also helps moisturize skin. These colds and nasal congestion as well. The smell doesn't stay for that long, so if it bothers you, just wait it out for like 10 to 30 minutes depending on how much you put. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It doesn't smell too strong, but it still has that cool scent that reminds you the spa. Make sure all the important parts have been covered. Shoulder, neck, below the ear, back of the ear, temple, and towards the hairline. Get rid of the excess. Now, let's do my face. I'm also gonna give my face a little bit of massage, but I'm still starting with toner. Let it stay pretty moist before applying these two. To make sure that the massaging movements just glide on and not pull the skin. A few drops here and there. Don't skimp on product, spread it all over your face and start massaging. I have a certain way of doing it that I learned growing up. I've also learned some ways to do it after doing some research and I'm willing to share them with you guys. But that's gonna be in another video. Let this be your sneak peek. Now for brows, you know, the usual light shade for the whole thing. Darker shade for the details. And some black, just a little bit. Clean up the mess. For a more tidy looking clean and some priming. Use foundation. Having different sized brushes is always a good idea. It helps you reach those places that are quite tight and could get messed up by a bigger, bigger brush. Now that's done, let's go to the forehead. An actual eyelid primer. Tiny dabs like that. Spread all over the eyelids. At last, it's time for a shadow. But before we go in the colors, let's do this first. Bronzer for eye contour. And a lighter shade of blue. Let's use Backstage by Australis.
slowly building. And now blending. Coloring the bottom lash line, fixing up the corners, black for your tone palette, and let's see how dark it gets. I've put some light blue over here, a bit of white would make it more pronounced. Blending again, foundation for the rest of the face. and powder to seal it all in. Missing something? Eyeliner. Applying liquid eyeliner just makes me so nervous. Cause I'm trying to show you how I do it while trying my hardest not to mess it up. Let's do it one eye at a time, okay? Let's go with glam lashes, shall we? Again, one eye at a time. But before that, let's see if this mascara actually does anything. Meh, not enough. Still going for glam lashes. See how easy that was? Bottom lashes. Contouring my whole face. Estee Lauder blush. It's quite cute and subtle. Lipstick. It's 2020 and I'm still not using a lip liner. Trying to make my lips look more plump than they actually are. So there you have it. This is my dark blue and dark red Estee Lauder Australis makeup look. I hope you liked it. See you next time.